Brook trout are special because they are part of that megafauna that many of us can wrap our heads around. They've been here for thousands of years and they are yelling out to us humans that you need to, you need to pay attention to what's going on. We're at Bolton Branch, which is a headwater stream that comes out of the Shenandoah National Park, where we were able to work for a stream restoration project to improve trout habitat. The Piedmont Environmental Council did a survey with Trout Unlimited and the Fish and Wildlife Service in 2015, knowing that driveways and road stream crossings like uh, culverts really block movement of fish up and down stream. And this was one of the barriers that was ranked as a high priority. Well, the first part of it was putting the bridge in to eliminate one of the culverts, Bolton Branch. And then the second part, which took the most time, was improving Bolton Branch proper, putting in structures, jack dams, uh, rock structures, and planting different types of trees and shrubs. And also, there was a nice planting of uh, wildflowers. Everything's coming in place, and hopefully this will really benefit the brook trout. Brook trout are cold water species, and they are the canary in, in the coal mine uh, for global climate change. And when we start losing habitat for brook trout, well, we're warming those waters up. And uh, eventually what happens is the entire watershed, from the headwaters to the ocean, start to warm. So these fish, um, they, they live in, in, in tough conditions anyhow. When we pile on by, by blocking their access to cold water habitat, we really put them in danger of, of, of not surviving. And when we do those road crossings, we improve the resiliency. The final blow is the fragmentation because of driveways and roads that are increasingly being built over streams. Um, the more people move around and move out to the country, we're seeing their habitat chopped up into smaller pieces. And I, I like to make a reference to our bodies. We have many members in our bodies, but we have one body. And you can start cutting off digits of your finger. Yeah, your body still functions, but you keep cutting off digits and it becomes less and less efficient. And this is what happens uh, with our ecosystem. It's all tied together. There's no part of the ecosystems that exists in a vacuum. And ultimately, in the long run, we all suffer for that. where you find a wild reproducing population of brook trout, wild. It indicates a clear, clean, pure stream. Anybody that knows what a native brook trout is, it's just my opinion, it's the most gorgeous of all fish that swims. But when you hold them in your hand in the water, it's like you've got a precious gem. I think it'd be tragic to lose them in this stream. You know, it's a wonderful resource, why not protect it? This project has been important because we just never knew what a difference we could make until it started happening. Streams are the heartbeat of ecosystems. We hope this is one of many successful habitat restoration projects. I'm just excited that we've come to the end of a great long road of restoration at Bolton Branch and now have a story to tell and share with others.